primary school children have increased confidence in cooking and gardening as part of a kitchen garden program, a Melbourne and Deakin University report has shown. The joint report evaluated the Stephanie Alexander Kitchen Garden Program and confirmed the program has created positive health behaviour change in primary school children. What we found was that there was a, a clear increase in children's willingness to try new foods. We also found that there was an increase in children's level of enjoyment of cooking and an increase in their knowledge and confidence in their cooking and gardening skills. I like beans and I like cooking it in a cheese of chicken and rice. Well, you get rice and then you put all these vegetables in, like beans and carrots and broccoli and, and cook it and it's really good. I never actually ate vegetables. I used to always eat junk. And so now I've learnt how to cook vegetables and it still tastes like junk, but it isn't. The two-year study assessed over 700 children's change in attitude, behaviour and knowledge of food. Interviews with over 500 parents and 93 teachers were also conducted. The program has certainly uh, exceeded our expectations in so far as uh, student behaviour, attitudes and um, also their engagement. It's amazing for children who uh, require that little bit extra attention. The program allows the children to actually uh, bring the garden back into the classroom and vice versa. So in terms of a maths program, they can be talking about the uh, maths involved in cultivation, growing, harvesting, and also uh, the maths that's involved in the cooking is quite extensive. It's really difficult to achieve change through health promotion programs that are meaningful and sustainable over time. What this shows is that this sort of program, which is an intense and an ongoing program, can achieve meaningful outcomes for children in terms of their in appreciation of diverse healthy foods, for schools in terms of creating a very positive learning environment, and for building connections between the schools and their local communities. For many visitors and for many adults who visit a kitchen garden school for the first time, what knocks them out most of all is what the children are cooking. Now you will find a beautiful dal being made with Tuscan kale and ginger and cabbage in the kitchen and I, a glorious leafy salad and I didn't see what else was happening but I saw bread rising in there and I think they were, they were for chapatis. This is lovely, it's seasonal, it's wintry food, we are in Melbourne. So they represent the community, the climate and seasonality. We also found that there was an indication that there was a transfer of the benefits to the home environment. So that's pretty exciting given that that wasn't even the core focus of the program. I think the evaluation report is really important. We have strong anecdotal evidence that comes into the office every day Whenever I visit a school, I hear the same stories, but we know that the government requires strong, positive evidence that this program is delivering the outcomes that they say they want, which is to develop healthier, lifelong eating habits in young children. We believe that's what this program does, and now we can show it. I like the kitchen garden program because it made me really healthy, and it made me really, um, I, lo I loved vegetables, but now I love them even more.